Here we are with a brand new game, Supermarket Simulator. I'm playing on the mobile, but do not let that put you off. If you're new to the channel, you're in the 0.01% of the population of the world. Congratulations! Because not many people watch, so you are in the 0.01%. Doesn't that just make you feel great? Here we are with my brand new Supermarket. I'm new to this game, so let's have a quick look around. Looks really nice. The leaves there, so it must be autumn. I think it's based in America. We'll check it. Whoa! Jeez! Okay, so I wanted to just check the number plate, but I've been mowed down. Let's check the number plate. Yeah, we're in America. Whoa, again? What's going off? The traffic's crazy. What's the license plate on the taxi? Fresh. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. There's a dice in the mirror. Nice. But yeah, we're in this peaceful little neighbourhood. It's nice. The birds are singing. The birds are chirping. So far, there's no one here. Is there any time on it? What have I got? Right, so I've got $50. I'm going to say pounds because that's what we do in England. So I'm going to just pretend it's pounds. So we've got £50. Pounds. It's 8am. I need to... What's this? Oh, you can pick them up. Oh, you can design the shop however you want it to look. That's cool. I love the game already. I do like that. You can make it look how, exactly how you want. This was a really popular game on the PC for people. I've seen a lot of people playing it. So I thought I'd grab it for the mobile. Ooh. What, or do I want it there? I'm trying to think. Let's try this on. got to be so intricate. I want it to look... Oh, what have I done? I boxed it up. How do you get it out of the box? Oh, no. What have I done? What a start to the shop. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. I've unpacked it. Right, so I don't know why you can box stuff up. We'll probably find that out later. Is it to sell? I don't know. I want to get this right in the corner. Come on. Twist. Get in. There we go. We're in. We're in. That looks better already. Not everything's in my way. A locked door. Can't get in. Don't know who's in there. This is my till. Got one till so far. This is where I take the money and the card payments. Oh, there's a little computer. Is there light here? Does that light work? Can I put the lights on? No, it doesn't look like I can. Oh, that'd be so good if you could put the lights on, because then I could um, could make the shop 24 hours. That, oh, it does come on. Does it? Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, nice. Love it. Right, let's jump into the computer. We need to order some stock, I'm guessing, to get on the shelves to get the customers happy. Because it is closed, so no one's coming in at a minute. So let's jump on. Oh, fucking Timo. Just skip that advert. That's the one thing with the game. I've had two adverts already. Fuck off. Right, bank. Don't want a loan. Don't want to be getting a loan yet, do we? Really don't want a loan. I don't want them coming after me. What's this? Product license... That's cool. So you can buy product licenses to sell different products. Can't afford any of them yet. Um, right, what do we want to buy? Cereal. I'll have some cereal, I think. Oil. Everyone needs oil nowadays, don't they? Always like gold dust. Like gold liquid. Liquid gold. I'll stick with cereal for now. Though. 35 Is that for a pallet or for one box? Oh, right, yeah. $35. It says it sells for two ninety nine, but I can set what price I want. I am going to try setting the price really high and see if it still sells. If it does, we'll keep moving it up and up and up. If people buy it, then more for them. But I am the only supermarket in town, so I may as well just put it as high as possible and try and get as much money in as possible. So we've ordered some bread. It's here already. That were quick. Pick that up. So this is the bread box. Sells for 99p, but I'm going to change it to about £3. I'll stick them on here. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's my favourite game ever already. How many have I got in the box? Oh, I love it. How do I get rid of this box? Well, let's chuck this box in the bin and get the next lot. The cereal is on the shelf and it's looking really good. The Choco Bix, are they called? Don't know how you get these in bit. Oh, is this it? Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, I best put the other box in then. I'll just chuck it on the sidewalk. 
Let's have a little look around the town while we're here as well, I think. Get used oh, get used to our surroundings a bit. In fact, oh, let me get this settled. First up, we'll I've picked the old bloody thing up. First up, we'll change the price. You just have to click on the little label there and you change the price. So it says average cost $2.99, but I'm going to set it quite high because there's no other shops in town, so I may as well try and get as much as I can. So I'm going to put $4.95. That's almost £2 profit on the cereal. The bread will drop at oh, 99p, it said, didn't it? So 99p, I'm going to sell it for about £3, I think, maybe. Yeah, we'll sell it for nearly three. Oh no, I'll go one ninety five just for now. I don't want to be. I don't want people to get fed up of me. So we start with fifty. We need to open up the shop. How do we do this? So it's the sign here. Look, get the shop open, and uh, we'll hopefully. Oh, nice. We'll hopefully expect our first customer, and he's in straight away. He must have been queuing up to get in. Right, we're off. He's come in, he's like, there's a new shop in town, love. It sells cereal and uh, bread. What more do you need? Right, how do we do this? Let's see how we do this. Oh, I love it. You even have to scan the stuff. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Next, we want to open up a shop. Yes, I will take your cash. What we're we looking at, which till? This till. So it is the two toys, it's Tanner's. Right, so what do I have to do? Right, change. Okay, so we have to click on how much change you need. So we'll give him that. Give him that. Done. Next. Oh, you've gone for the bread and the cereal. Good choice. Really good choice. Card. Okay, we're off to a flyer here. We're doing both cards. So I'll just type it in. 860 or 885. Get that typed in. Swipe the card. Bosh. We're making money too. Bread. Man, this is quick. Slow down. Two bread. What we got? Cash. Bosh. What we doing? Change. It's perfect. He's giving me the right money. Man, I like you. If everyone was like you, it would be easy. Oh, don't blame you. Two loaves and some cereal. Good man. Stick this in for you. 885. Same as the other one. I'll put zero. Bear with me. Other customers are already getting fed up. We're in. Ah, good choice, love. Good choice. Nice box of cereal. Correct change. My kind of woman. Two loaves. Cash. Not correct change. What we got here? There we go. 30p. There we go. 30p. Take that. <clears throat> We're doing well. Almost run out of stock already. Should I be ordering more now or do you wait till end of day? That's the bread gone. The bread flew off the shelves. Card. In. People are going to be disappointed now. 885 again. People are going to be really disappointed because we've run out of bread already. Here she is, the old woman. She's just coming for cereal again. She had cereal earlier. I'm sure that was you've just been in. She must be a cereal addict. What's happening here? Take money, thank you. Correct money as well. I'm sure it rather did it last time. Oh, she's a good woman. See you tomorrow. Well, that's it. I think we've nearly done what we are already. We've got some good money coming in. Forget the objectives. We are flying. Let's have a look around. What we got left? Five boxes of cereal. I tell you, we're going to build an absolute empire. Is he coming in? Of course he is. He looks like he loves chocolate cereal. And he's going to grab himself a delicious box of it. Take two, mate. I want them gone. They're on offer. Could do that as well, couldn't I? Like, as the day go on, when it we could do like a proper shop. We'll have a yellow sticker where it gets towards end of day and we'll start reducing stuff. She's back again. Man, this woman loves the chocolate cereal. Am I being am I being shocked here? What's happening? Now she's got me a credit card. So last time it was cash with credit money. Now it's credit card. Is it not her card? What's going on? Are they twins? She's back again. What the hell's going on? Am I being done over here? What is happening? This is third time she's been in. Cereal. Money. Right, what are we looking... Holy shit! She wants like £95 change. I think I'm being done over here. So one of them... Is it like triplets? 
One of them came in with crep money. One of them got a stolen card. Now this one's coming with a hundred dollars, a hundred pounds. She wants ninety-five pound change. I've, how do you check if the the money's real? She's gone anyway. I'll just deal with it. I'm going to need insurance for this shop. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. Got one box left. Who wants the last box of cereal? Here he comes. He heard me. Come on, mate. You've got to be quick. There's only one box left. Good you didn't want bread. Straight at cereal. The sale is over. Opening day of the store. And it is credit card job, Bosch. Thank you very much. I can't believe people are paying nearly five quid for a box of cereal. I'm living the dream. What's that say? Couldn't what? Couldn't find bread. Mate, there's nothing in. I wouldn't even bother. I need to put closed. We're closed for the day. I've run out of stock. We're closed. Can you leave, please? Thank you very much. Decent first day. We're approaching 4pm. Made some good money. We're on £83. That'll do for our first day. Not bad at all. Try and get this day over with and we'll see what day two brings. Before we close for day one, I'm going to have a little walk around. All street walkers are out now, look. So I'm going to have a walk around, see what else is around here. Everyone's still busy, but I've got no stock. I do want to eventually get to like supermarket size, but the game looks all right so far. I like how the little NPCs have got shadows on. Hey, oh, somebody's going to shop. It's closed, mate. We've got nothing in, I'm sure. What are you looking for? Bye. Come back tomorrow. I'll have some more cereal. Right, I'm going to end the day. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I need to order more stuff. Can't you shut this door? It'd be better if you could shut the door. Look at that beautiful sky. Hey, up, has someone just gone in again? Mate, we're shut. We're shut. Do I need to box the shelves up? What are you looking for? There's nothing there. <laughs> Have I put closed? Open, closed. Right. Oh, it's going dark. See, if we get to a good point where we've built an absolute empire, a massive store, and then we can put the lights on. I'm going to end the day because customers are still coming in. I don't think they get what close means. I'll see you tomorrow. What a beautiful morning on day two. I'm going to order some more stuff. It's telling me I need to perform more checkouts. I need to order some more stuff. But I'm going to get some oil this time, I think. Because oil, as I said, is like liquid gold. So we'll get some oil. I think oil, bread, cereal. We'll get that ordered. We'll get these shelves stacked. And we'll be away on day two. Just serving a few customers at night before we shut up on this day. It's nearly 7 o'clock at night. I think it shuts about 9, 8. I'm only allowed to open till 9. Oh, it's just jumped to 9. 9 p.m. So it's time to shut the doors and read up on what we've made on first day. Let's have a look at our, uh, our total gains. So 
some really good profit made there we've got daily expenses to pay now eventually i want to start hiring some staff and everything but right now it's just me on my own in the shop we need to come up with the name for the supermarket so if anyone has any ideas let me know and in the next video i will name it so if you have any ideas on what the supermarket should be called let me know he's just disappeared into that shop i don't know how far you can go around this town i might have a look at another time we can get all the way to the end of the street can we sprint i think we can sprint whoa yeah we can sprint we can go for a morning jog so the shop's full waiting for people to come in to get rid of the second day's worth of stock i'm going to fast forward for the next season uh, next episode sorry i won't be um slowly building it like this i'll try and play it in the background when you're not watching and hopefully when you join me back again we'll have a massive superstore hopefully because i am going to unlock one of these licenses so i've got no money someone's here already look let's have a look what we got so they're still buying it even though i've priced it really high i did watch someone come in i'm hoping to show you i watched someone come in and they shook their head is he doing it i think he's just done it and i didn't see it i'll see if i can just give this person the change and we'll have a look god again they've come in with loads of money why do they keep doing this taking all my change so they didn't buy i think people have been moaning that the oil's a bit much i set it at like nine pound but as long as it sells i'm not bothered there don't seem to be anything on the game that says if you upset people your rating goes down or anything so i don't think it really matters just say it for as high as possible and try and make as much money as possible but obviously you want your stock to go don't you when you've got a big shop but when i'm starting off as i am now as a small store i want to um, get as much money in as possible but i'll try and show you what they do so there's two people here say no to the other one of you no she's gone for it she's buying it and he don't want to say i don't want to buy it because it'll look embarrassing in front of her so he's just gone for it even though i don't even think he wanted it which is good a bit of peer pressure sells me another couple of oils and not a lot of change again can you run out of change on this i mean we're going to get really in depth into it i don't know how in depth it is do you run out of change is there any negative things can people steal stuff i don't know we'll have a look but again loads of change where's the people that come in with the correct money they're the ones you want go on say no to the earl i want to show people watching what it does sun's coming through thingy oh he said no look see too expensive for me so i'll just have the flower so i like that so you can't just set whatever price you want if you want your stuff to go you've still got to set it fairly but i'm going to keep it as it is oh he's upset as well he's shaking his head i can't afford it i might drop it by a pound because i do want everything to go as quickly as possible because then we can move on but i think i'm going to finish off serving these people end the video there thank you everyone who's watched the first episode if you want to see more of this let me know but even if you don't i'm probably going to carry on doing it um but it'd be great to hear what you think and let me know what you think the shop should be called i'm going to leave it up to you guys to name the shop just drop the price on that so i want everything to go and hopefully when you join me next time we'll have a bigger shop I'll try and do a little intro at the beginning to show what I've done. Try and record little bits for you so you know how far we've progressed. If we get any decent fridges, because it does say you can buy a fridge. I have unlocked that I can sell milk and butter and things like that now. So there you go, mate. There's your money. Just add this up. So yeah, so when I get the um, fridge, I'll show you what that looks like. And we'll get that all stocked up. And I don't know if you can move to bigger premises. Is that what the locked door is? you unlock that and move to a bigger premise i don't know but uh, we will find out together so i'm going to leave it there goodbye from day one and day two of our brand new simulator supermarket and i'll catch you all in another video thanks for watching folks